Okay, let's look at what's in on the bottom side. Ace of Cups is on the bottom, which I like to think that the all aces are God cards or karma cards. Um, the cup is emotions. So there's emotions pouring in, there's emotions pouring out, and which is pretty true to, to the sign of Scorpio. So it's time to clear the way a bit, Scorpio. Uh, get back to the root of your passion and your emotions. Um, give that energy that you've been giving away to everyone else. Keep some for you in this cup and follow the, the God of your heart. Follow your passions. Follow um, your desires and your magic. Speaking of magic, let's take a look at your reading. So the magician is, is the main card here. Um, and it's just getting back to your magic. Scorpio, you have so much passion and so much uh, love for others. Um, it's time to really get back to your own magic and get back to your purpose. Be exalted. Um, really look at your own stuff. Let, let go of the frustrations. Let go of the angers. Get back on track, Scorpio. Uh, the magician is really tapping into the magic that we all have. And Scorpio, you are one of the most magic signs um, since you have the knowledge and the awareness of the other side, of um, the ethereal side, of the magic that we can manifest onto the earth plane. So it's time to get back to your gifts, your magic, and what you would like to give to yourself and others. Um, but now it is time. You've... Uh, Time to get back on to your karmic path, your affinity for yourself and others. So it looks like it's something that you've been aware of for a while, Scorpio, and it's time to put it into play. Whether it's taking those classes or reading the books, putting your magic out in the world for you to manifest your greatest desires. And the walls are pretty thin, the veils are pretty thin, in October between the worlds. So put it out there, manifest what your deepest desires are and see what spirit does, what it sends back to you. So time to get in touch with the magic, Scorpio. We have the five of cups here, and this is a little bit of crying over spilt milk from the past, pains from the past, things that you weren't able to resolve to your liking, or things you just really need to let go. Projects and people that you need to let go. Uh, it's not necessarily a failure. If it doesn't succeed in the way that you have perceived it, it's a lesson in a different way. So time to let go of the Klingons, the people that don't serve you, the situations, and the upsets that situations caused from the past. Whether it's childhood trauma, whether it's relationship trauma, it's time to release that. You have things waiting in the wings right here for you. Once you release that cloak of anger and hurt, there are all sorts of things waiting for you in the wings that are in present time that will bring you joy. And they're right around the corner. It's just letting go of the things from the past that no longer serve you. So that's a good thing for all of us, I guess, to hear. The tower upside down, this is lessons through destruction. So it looks like some lessons have uh, come back to you or situations or people that have come back to you. Um, I look at this as only a test. Um, do it differently. Do it differently. Take those lessons that you learned from the first situation and apply them in this situation. You do not have to repeat the past in order to really learn it. So it looks like some things will come back to you from the past could be even a relationship or friendship that's coming back to you from the past but it is just a test to see if you're able to move past it and to choose things that are healthier for you that are more in line with your spirit your freedom and your joy so just a test only a test and what is in the past position which is probably something just past or um, just moving out of your space is the star. And the star, this is a major arcana. It is one of gifting, really, to the world. Your 
um, your talents, your passion, but when you give it all away, you have nothing for you. So I encourage you, Scorpio, to start giving to yourself. Um, it's very easy to solve other people's problems when you can see the answer, but they will create that problem over and over again so they can figure out how to do it. Um, you're very capable. So Scorpio, I suggest you pull back your energy from other people's problems. It does seem to be a theme in a number of signs uh, this month, and they look like all water signs too when I think about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so really giving your energy to yourself, your projects, your desires, your bliss, really concentrate on one thing at a time. It looks like your energy is a little scattered off in different places here and there. So collect all that energy, put it into one place and give it to yourself. You can help others much better if you are feeling more complete and you are feeling more balanced. So as we go into the winter time, I know water signs kind of go into a hibernation period, which is what is coming up for you is the hibernation period. Um, so really think about what your next steps are. Where do you want to be in the next couple of years? What does your future look like for you? And really decide. Um, use this time of fall and winter to go into yourself and release the things that are unhealthy, the unhealthy behaviors, the unhealthy uh, relationships. Now that we're in um, moving into that seventh house, Scorpio is moving into the seventh house in Jupiter, it is a perfect time to reevaluate all of your relationships, not only love relationships, uh, parents, children, friends, all of them, work relationships. What changes can you make to better your situation? Not just the contemplation space either. Movement is good, but you really have to take a look at what's going on. Um, and last month, I know that there was some things right in front of your face that you needed to take a look at. So I, most Scorpios have done that. So it's time to do some upgrading in the spiritual closet and give to yourself. It will relieve resentment, anger, frustration when we, when you give to yourself and make sure your creature comforts are taken care of and then you can create the bliss, then you can create the magic and the magic is right here. So in order to get in touch with that magic, you really need to release some stuff. And um, going into that cave for winter is great. This is a little bit of a tumultuous card. This is in the future. This is the um, seven, sorry, it's the seven of wands. So that is a fire sign. There's some movement involved. This looks like a little bit of feeling attacked, feeling like put in the spot, put in the corner. You're being cornered into something. Um, if the situation does not feel right to you, follow the heart. Follow your heart, follow the God of your heart, speak your truth with love and kindness, but it looks like you're feeling really cornered into something, um, feeling more like work, work or friends, not a family situation. For many of you, it can be a family situation, but it's something that you're feeling cornered about that you don't feel um, is to your best interest to follow along in the game. So um, you can break that agreement. You can um, speak your truth with love and kindness um, and, and move that energy out. But there is a lot of focus on you fixing things for other people. So now it's time to really heal yourself. Um, you know, when we get overloaded with too much energy from others, we create illness and dis-ease in our, our bodies. So make sure and speak your truth. Um, it will help you grow. It will help others grow as well. And um, you don't really need to fight about this. Um, it's best to just put down that weapon and let people spin around you. If you do not engage in it, then it's easier to be neutral to it. So I encourage you to be neutral. If it is yours to fix, fix it. If it is not yours to fix, let that go. Give it back to the person that really needs to fix it. You can be uh, loving and supportive without stepping in. So it's that kind of the, the adage of uh, 
you can feed a person or you can teach a man to fish and he can feed himself. So that's kind of what's going on. Um, if you do export any energy at all, Scorpio is to teach them how to do it for themselves and then stand back and uh, let them spin and let them pick themselves up. Um, but you are feeling cornered about a decision. So make that decision that is right for you. Um, and ultimately it will be right for all. As long as you are in a place of agreement with things, then that's fine. But if you are not, then it, you're not being kind to yourself. So let's find page pentacles at the basis here. And uh, pages are messages. Pentacles are earth signs. So um, it may be a young earth sign. Uh, earth is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. It may be a child. Um, pages are someone younger than 20, uh, male or female, since it is not gender specific. But this is feeling like a little motion is happening that you are... Um, helping a someone that is a little younger than you are uh, um, could be a child could could be your child could be a niece nephew something like that but i'm feeling that this is someone under 20 that did need some advice that is looking to you for that advice and that grounding that they are not getting at their home um, so it feels like uh, speak um honestly but neutrally especially if you know the source of their issue and that is something that they will have to deal with ongoing so um, speak with love and kindness uh, offer wisdom and then once again step back and make uh, make sure that they are um, doing their work and you're not doing it for them but somebody needs a little sage advice may need a hug um, may need to um, just use use Scorpio as a sounding board. A lot of times people who are in the middle of their crisis, all they need to do is talk it out. And they usually come to their resolution or their solution while they're talking. So be that strength for this young person. Um, be the neutral um, kind of Canada. Don't take a side. Just be there as supportive for this young person and they need a little clarity and um, coming to you it will really actually help them um, to get some of their certainty and to uh, feel a bit a little bit more normal in what's going on so um, feeling a little hormones feeling a little discord as well so could be with the family this is uh, kind of along the line and there's the family card upside down so King of Wands, this is a fire sign. This is someone that is uh, over 30 or 40. Uh, the King is an exalted person, someone with wisdom. Wands, again, is fire. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So there is someone that feeling like this is part of this whole triangle here. Uh, a little bit of uh, the decision-making or putting you in the corner is brought on by... Uh, this King of Wands, and it's also in the line of your magic, also in the line of your star. So this may be someone that you've been giving and giving and giving to that is still demanding and, and being a little bit more needy. Um, that is, it's not necessary. So in order to step out of that, just speak your truth. There's a lot of energy here about speaking your truth with love and kindness, but continuing on your journey. Do not stop your journey to pick up others' things. If they can match your energy and move along with you, that is great. Um, but it, there may be a little bit of strife in the middle of October where you have resisted speaking your truth, but this must come. This must come about, Scorpio. So this also feels like uh, it represents uh, a father figure, um, someone that is a, a little older, a little wiser in, in a, maybe the next generation than you are. Um, so, And you can work things out. You're very diplomatic, Scorpio. So there is a little bit of... 
working things out this October and really being true to your heart and true to your passions. Um, the chariot is lighting up here too. Um, this is finding balance. It can also stand for travel and style. Um, the light and the dark of it, the duplicity of, of life, looking at things from both sides. In order to make it better, you must look at it honestly, but look at it from both sides of the situation before making a decision. There's some movement here. Uh, looks like planning a trip. This looks like a bigger trip. So it may take uh, months or even years to complete, but this is something that you've wanted to do pretty much all your life, a passion you've always wanted to do. So put that out in the world, um, start saving for it, create what you need to and, and go do it, do it. You're, you're not getting any younger. So uh, put that energy, time and effort into that future plan that you wanted to do, make it happen for you. It's something that has always been um, in your heart and finding the balance between family and work and pleasure and friends is always a little bit of a challenge. <clears throat> this is lighting up for me as well, this band right here. Um, when I ask Spirit about it, it looks like take care of your stomach. Uh, it looks like a lot of your emotions, you're swallowing some of your emotions right now. Um, and it is directly affecting your stomach and your lower intestines. Um, some of you that uh, manifest in poor elimination or not eliminating um, or too much, um, having major stomach upsets, um, a lot of it, I, I can feel some of it can... Um, effect like heartburn but it's it's directly related to swallowing your emotions and swallowing your words so speak your truth release some of that energy if you do not have permission to speak it to the person that it belongs to just write it down and get it out of your body because uh, your body will manifest it um, and it looks like towards the stomach. So if you, Scorpio, if you've been having stomach issues, speak those truths. Do not swallow your truth any longer. Uh, and you will find the balance. You will find the chariot. You will find the answers. Um, so put it out there in the world. It's right there for the taking. It's right there. And this is a higher exalted card. It is one for balance. It is one for the duplicity of life, the yin and the yang, the dark and the light. Um, and there is no other sign than Scorpio that understands about honoring the dark side as well. doesn't have to manifest in negative or manipulation or violence, but we all have a darker side to us. And it's okay to honor that side in a healthy way, whether it's alone time, um, just removing yourself from situations. But uh, definitely the stomach is affected when you do not speak your truth here. So Scorpio, please speak your truth. And if you cannot speak it directly to whom it belongs to, write it down, get it out of your body, uh, release it from your consciousness so you do not manifest that as dis-ease in your body or stomach issues or holding you hostage emotionally. So you're right there. I encourage you to take that next step and really let your truth be known so you can move into your exalted Place. You can move into your magic. The magic and the chariot together are, are really a great, powerful card. And on top of that, having the tower upside down, you are moving in the right direction. So keep going. I want to encourage you to keep going. Don't give up before the miracle happens. So <laughs> there's the chariot. The culmination card is a 10. And the 10 upside down means the opposite of what it does. It means right side up. Ten, um, right side up is happy family, things moving in the direction that it needs to flow. Emotions are positive. Everyone's working together. Well, it is upside down, dear Scorpio. So this is the ending. This is the ending of some of the tumultuous things that is happening in your house. And the way that it's going to happen is by speaking that truth and giving that person 
um, the responsibility back. So, but it looks like it is within the home. So it could be tumultuous children, could be just arguing with your partner, um, having issues with parents, but it is within the family and within the home. So if you need to change some things, please do so. You are right there. The 10 is the ending of it, the culmination. Um, all the hard work is about to uh, really take fold, take fold. So be strong. Strength is there. Be strong, but with your kindness, you know, um, this is also the Leo card. Uh, so it could be if your family life could be affecting or you could be affected by a Leo man or woman. Um, but I'm feeling the majority of it is time to be really strong and to walk into your truth. Be very, very strong. Walk into your truth with certainty and love. You don't have to take prisoners along the way, but it is time to change the energy that is more comfortable for you. So you will be more comfortable in your own home, in your own skin. There's a little bit of finances involved in this. Um, a lot more going out than coming in. Um, also, it looks like good deeds are being rewarded. It feels like good deeds for others. Um, but don't give it all away to you have nothing left for you. Um, so save whether it's it, it's um, finances or emotional support. So make sure that you're supporting yourself as well as others. Uh, this is a temporary situation and you will find your balance from it. Uh, looks like there's some anger around this. Um, could be giving out money to did the car break. You know, um, uh, Mercury was just... Uh, diddling around retrograde so a lot of computers were breaking phones were breaking a lot of electronics that needed to be repaired this could represent a lot of replacement things or money going out for unexpected items but it is only temporary um, and you will find your balance it will start to ebb and flow again and not just flow out as it seems like it's doing right now so that is your general reading, Scorpio. I am going to throw a couple cards here for clarity. These are chakra cards. And um, here we go. Facade. All right. Look at things as, as they really are. And this is kind of like uh, expanding on what was happening last month, too. Look at it as things are they, as they are not as you wish them to be so the facade let the facade go speak your truth if you're stepping in something and dragging it all over the house be aware of it be aware of it i know that's a bad analogy but use your instinct as well you have very very fine-tuned instinct scorpio so trust those spirits if it feels funky to you it is if someone is um, telling you something and, and even though they've been in integrity with you most of of the time or all of the time if it does not feel right if it feels like a lie believe it believe it believe yourself first and your information first over what others are presenting there is some falsehood that is being presented to you you have felt that it's a falsehood so please trust and believe in your own energy and your own spirit.